What's up, my Big Mac snack wraps? It's your boy, the Miggity 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 Mac, and welcome to another show. On today's show, we are doing a very special show. Um, we've lost one of our YouTubers and one of our friends, uh, Cooking with Tracy. She passed away last Saturday. Um, well, last Saturday. Um, she was a friend of the show. Um, she was one of the people that did the the Big Mac, uh, the muscle challenge that I created. Um, and that's how I found out about her show. And I followed her. And I was very saddened by the news of her passing. Um, like, I was I was in disbelief. Because I found out through Waxing with Donisha. Um, and I was like, cooking with Tracy. I know it's not the cooking with Tracy I'm thinking about. So I had to go. I was like... No, that's not not her. And then I found out that it it was it was her. Um so about six months back she created this rib challenge and she called me out. Um I didn't know she had called me out in this challenge, but I am here today to do it. Um I don't even really eat pork anymore, but I'm doing this for Tracy. Um so I don't have a problem I don't have a problem with doing this challenge. Um, she called out a whole bunch of people. So please share her video and see if you've been tagged in the video. If you haven't um, watched the video, I'm going to leave it in my link description down below and also in my community community tab. So right here, I have some, I think these are baby back uh, ribs. I'm not a huge, I'm not a, I don't know a lot about ribs like that. I just know they taste good. Um, I think these are baby back. We have some cucumbers here. And then I have some uh, cream spinach right here. Got some little what's left of this Tabasco sauce. And then I got my lips hot sauce. So we're going to say a prayer, y'all, and we're going to get into this. Amen. And I got my, my drink right there. I don't know if y'all gonna hear it, but here you go. Pinkies up. We're gonna swirl a little bit, and then we're gonna. a little bit all right Sean. so yeah the, the challenge is to do one slab of ribs you have a side of your choice you know finish as much as you can uh, but she called out a lot of people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, my lips look extra greasy. And my lips look extra greasy today. My lips been chapped. Got some cream spinach. So good. Got some Tabasco. Mm 
and I got these ribs from my grocery store called Albertsons, already cooked. About thirteen, fourteen dollars. Y'all go ahead and get your lips hot sauce. Link will be in the description below. And y'all be sure to go follow Cooking with Tracy because I believe her kids are going to continue on the channel for her. So y'all go over there and show them some love. And go watch some of the old videos. She ate a lot of different variety of foods. Great personality. Mm-mm. 
These are pretty good ribs. You got any bad cream spinach? Try it. Especially if you're already a spinach fan. I kind of, it's a lot of sauce, but I kind of like it. Not as saucy. Yeah, just eight ribs with a fork. Well, how my snack brothers doing out there? I hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody's in good health, good mental health. Um, you know, we as the world are still going through a lot. We're still fighting a lot. We're fighting disease, and we're fighting for humanity. So, I pray everybody's good, physically, mentally. And if you're not, just know that this too shall pass. Whatever you're going through. Yes, indeed. As long as you're here, you can get through it. So I'm about halfway done with it.
Ooh, I know the only thing I'm gonna eat after this later later today is a big old fiber smoothie. Mm -hmm. Like I just bought some kale, bought my frozen fruit, my chia seeds. But have me a fiber smoothie. If you don't know, fiber helps everything move along how it's supposed to move along. As of lately, that's what I've been doing. <clears throat> like I try to do two, like two shakes a day and just whatever I'm gonna eat on camera or if I'm not eating on camera, just, you know, a sensible meal. That's been my plan for the last few weeks. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not 100% I don't do it every day, but I try to. Because some days I just don't feel like eating like that or having anything like in the morning. I'm not a breakfast person. And that's why you, I think I did breakfast on this channel once. I gotta really be in the mood for breakfast. Especially like breakfast foods. Quote unquote, breakfast foods. So also I want to mention, um, I didn't know I was tagged in this challenge. So if you guys have challenges that you guys are uh, tagging me in, um, go to my Instagram or leave me a comment here saying that, you know, down in whatever, um, my latest video is, just let me know that you, you know, you call me out. I don't know if I could do all of them, especially if it's like a lot of food. I tend to stay away from those for the most part. I have this one to do, and then I have one more to do this week, and then I'm probably not gonna do one that has like a lot, a lot of food for a while. But if it's something like, I don't know, just whatever else you know let me know like if it's like 20 lobster tails I might not be doing that one. um I know I want to do the hashtag the cannons mega meal challenge I want to do the Steph and Tasha 10 tacos and 10 minutes challenge. And then after that, I'll probably be back to my regular scheduled program. But if y'all have anything besides like challenges like that, where it requires a lot of food, um, let me know. If it's something spicy, you know, I'm, I'm down with the spice. Um, you know, stuff like that. If it's maybe a time challenge i might be down with that um yeah so just y'all just let me know if you call me out Ooh. oh i didn't pick up that one i ain't even finished this one
but I just went to the store today and I bought something that I'm excited to eat. I haven't had it on the channel in a minute, but I'm excited to eat it. When I do eat it, I can't tell y'all what it is. It's nothing big, but I just been having a craving for it. I ain't gonna lie, I'm already tapped out. Now I could probably push it and finish it, but I already know that's gonna leave me with that miserable stuff feeling, and I hate that feeling. I don't like to eat that far, um, but I have like two left, two or three, I think two left. Um, but I can't do it. I don't want to be stuff like that and miserable for the rest of the day. Mm -mm. I know y'all saying, well, that's because you was drinking all that stuff. I got to drink with my food. I always hated that one rule as a kid. You can't drink until you finish eating. Who came up with that bullshit? Who came up with that? If you had, if those was the rules at your house, I'm not coming to your house. Because you're not finna play me like that. First off, I'm gonna finish the food. I, I'm gonna finish everything on my plate. Second of all, I ain't no kid, even though I was a kid. Don't try to play me like that. Give me my juice. That's, that was my train of thought as a kid. Give me my juice. Stop playing with me. You over there drinking your liquor with your food. Yeah, that was me. In my mind, I never said it out loud. Because you know you don't want to get, don't no more get smacked in. And they tell your mama. But if those are your rules, you wouldn't have me at your house. Mm -mm. Y'all about to eat dinner? Time for me to go. So I can give me some juice. Oh. So y'all just gonna let me do the show. Which is so much shit, huh? Y'all ain't right. Gonna oh, have me on the show. With my baby food on my chest. I thought we was homies. I thought we was friends. Mm -mm -mm. Scandalous. Y'all scandalous out there. Anyway. I'm gonna get on out of here and shout out once again, rest in peace to cooking with Tracy. Um, a shout out to, well, condolences, not shout out. Condolences to her family and her friends, her children um, and everybody. Condolences. I know that this is a, a tough time. I haven't, I haven't experienced this, but I'm, Pretty sure it's a tough time. So we're going to lift you guys up in prayer. Um, and take your time. You know, getting through this. You know, there's you know, there's no rush when stuff like this happens. I know I take it hard. Um, but yeah, we're going to send condolences to them. We're going to go follow Cooking with Tracy. And we're going to watch some of her videos. Link down in my description box below. Um, so this one's for you, Tracy. I hope I did justice. I hope I did good. Yeah. So you guys, shout out to all my new snack wraps, all my day ones and everybody in between. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I enjoyed it. Um, I was able to get some ribs in. Um, sometime maybe this month or the end of the months 
or something like that somewhere within the next month or so i'll be back to cutting out beef and pork and possibly chicken we'll see how that goes i did them before with the beef and pork for about five months so i'll be back on that but uh these are pork i have a a beef two beef challenges coming up um yeah I'm going to try not to get too heavy into that bag again. But, yeah. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I enjoyed it. <clears throat> um, Until we eat again, my little snack wraps. Peace.